everybody and welcome to another smile tutorial uh, this time we are going to be covering the map editor which is what I've got pulled up right here uh, this is a very basic feature um, its functionality is very simple and I believe in RF you have a bit more options but again I'm still using 2.5 here so this is basically what I'm going to be working with and this will basically transpose over to RF if that's what you're using um, if not, if you are using 2.5, then this should work out just fine. So, um, let's talk about the map editor. Uh, to get to it, uh, just go into tools, and then you've got your map editor right here. That brings up this window. Uh, this is the map for the current submap the room is in. So right now we are in Brinstar. And here is how the current room will show up. It will have this highlighted box around it. So that's how you know which room you are in. So that's a little bit nifty. Kind of helps you visualize that. Uh, something to discuss about the rooms themselves is they have to be in a box shape, either a square or a rectangle. Uh, they can't be in tetramino shapes. Uh, so you see like this room's got these two dips here. Um, if we go into this, we look at the map editor, it's the whole box. This is just how the game works. It, the rooms have to be in this box shape. Uh, within that box, you can obviously make whatever shapes you want though. So, and with scrolls, you can make it so it doesn't scroll on anything down there. So that's how that works. Just keep in mind, all rooms are uh, boxes basically. So I picked this room for a reason because it's got a couple of features uh, we'll want to take a look at a little bit later. But first, let's go over the uh, basic functions of the map editor. So when you're in the map editor, uh, you're scrolling around, uh, just hover over a room and press E. That will enter the room. So you pull it up, edit here. When you're in that room, uh, what, in the map editor from a current room, if you press M, that will now move the room to wherever your cursor is pointing on the window. So M for move, E for enter. I believe it's uh, Control E or Control M for RF. I'm not 100% sure though, uh, but I believe there is an extra button in there, fall there. So, but that's basically the main function of the map editor is moving the rooms and entering the rooms. Helps you traverse quickly instead of going through the uh, room scroll list here. Room header list, I should say. So that is basically all there is to that. Um, you've got your map tiles here. Um, you'll also notice in here, uh, these tiles are your fog, these are your water graphics. Um, you don't really want to mess with this. There are patches, uh, which I've used quite often in my hacks uh, as a map patch, that moves these graphics to a new location and frees up this space so you can add more tiles. So you can draw your own custom tiles. I know some people have put like uh, little door indications in the tiles, which those are quite nice because it kind of helps the players tell oh hey there's a door here when they're looking at a map like yeah I can go through there or whatever so that's a thing you couldn't do if you wanted to um, there's nothing really much here um, you've got the map icons which I believe in RF is much more robust in this it's got the ship and that's a criteria thing um, but that's it so your boss icons your refill station icons uh, current save station uh, what was the other one? Energy refill icon. Those will have to be edited manually in a hex editor if you're using 2.5. Now you've got a couple of little tabs here. Uh, this one reveals hidden tiles. Basically it just makes all the uh, transparent black tiles show up. If you wanted to see it in a grid pattern, although personally I find this a bit garish. Uh, I kind of wish it just had the grid and had a black background instead of the blue, but that's just me. You might prefer it this way. Um, personally, I leave it off. I never had much use for that. And then we've got this one. Now this is an important thing to keep in mind when placing uh, map tiles. So if this is on, and we build this hallway here, when we go to the map station, which is up here, this will show up on the map. Uh, the map will reveal that spot. If we have that off, and let's do a different tile so we can see a difference here. Oops, let's do a different tile. And that. Uh, you'll see this little red dot over top. 
That means the map station will not reveal it. So let's save this map and take a quick look here. Let's go in and grab the map. So there's that hallway I placed, that weird looking piece of mess at the bottom. We do not see the other tiles beneath it. So you can hide hidden passages uh, by doing that. Um, it, it's Again, it's very simple, it's just checking or unchecking this. Um, this also kind of works like your room, uh, where you can right click a tile to copy it and place it elsewhere so you can do the corners. Um, this is often how I do my tile work, honestly. I don't normally grab them from the sheet. I just grab them from up here as soon as I place them. That's just me. Um, so you, you can grab them from wherever and place them, um, but you do have, like for this corner, uh, you can do the horizontal and vertical flips, and you can do this for all the tiles, although generally that's only useful for a couple. Um, like this tile, you can flip it horizontally, to do the end, but flipping it vertically, that's not going to do anything. And vice versa, so. So that is your uh, basic functions of the map editor. Now, I do want to go back into this room. I do want to show you how to put a room in a different submap, because if you're making a hack, you'll probably come across an area where you need more rooms and you have an area with less rooms that you can take rooms from. So to do that is thankfully also very simple. Um, you have to go into your room and then edit room properties. That'll pull up this little box and you'll see this here, Brinstar. You got this drop down menu. Uh, so let's put it in Norfair. It'll say, say, say reopen. So okay, do that. The map is now, or this room is now in Norfair. Uh, the room stays at the same coordinates, so on the Brinstar map, this is where the room shows up. Um, so it's here in Norfair, it keeps the same coordinates. It's now there, that's all there is to it. You uh, can just put it back by doing this. Let's go back to Brinstar, okay. And back to Brinstar, same coordinates. So that's how you move a room from one submap to another. And once you do that, obviously you can move it around, place it wherever you want. Now there is a thing I do want to mention because this isn't necessarily so much with the map editor, but it is map related. And I know I have had this issue in my hacks. I've seen it in other hacks as well. Uh, this is going to be an important thing to keep in mind. Sometimes when you're playing hacks, um, you go from an area to another area. Um, you take a look at the map, and you know you've basically filled in this map, but when you come back, it looks all garbled and jumbled. That's because there are bit flags that are not set. Basically, and this is why I chose this room to start in, um, when you traverse a submap to a new submap, it needs to have a bit flag in the door connection. So. If we take a look at this one, this is a Brinstar room to a Brinstar room. So if we press D to open the door editor on the door, the bit flag is the second byte here, or I guess technically third. Uh, it's a second box. Um, it's between Brinstar and Brinstar rooms. There does not need to be a bit flag set here. So that's why it's zero, zero. Nothing needs to be done. This is fine. This, however, takes us to Meridia. There has to be a bit flag or your map will break when you go through these doors, through these transitions. So basically on these doors, um, this has a bit flag set of 40. And I'm not entirely sure what all these numbers, like what their exact meanings are, uh, but there are certain numbers uh, to put in to make sure your map doesn't break. Uh, 40 right here is obviously one of them. Um, and this is done on both sides, so on the Meridia side as well. This bit flag is set to 40, and if we wanted to check over here, this door goes back to uh, Brinstar. This bit flag is set to 40, and this is the Pre-Spacer Room. 
This bit flag is also set to 40 because this one traverses to Meridia. This is to another Brinstar room, so this bit flag is set to zero. I just wanted to mention this because this is an important thing. If you're having troubles with your map breaking, this is likely why. You're traversing a submap to a new submap and you're going through a door connection somewhere without the proper bit flag. And even with elevators, this is important to know um, on this one. And these values are slightly different. Um, on the elevator going down, uh, CO is what's set here. And then on the Norfair elevator going up, the bit flag is set to DO. So those are values you can try on your elevator. Um, I believe generally I use DO on all my elevators and that seems to work. Because again, I'm not too sure why the values, like what the difference is between CO and DO. Um, but they are values for your bit flag to set for elevators. So I just wanted to point that out because you might have trouble playing, testing your hack or whatever, and you come across this and it's kind of frustrating when you don't understand why that's happening. Um, if your map's breaking, it's likely because that bit flag is not set somewhere, so you need to check your door connections. Which again, it's not really a map editor related thing, but it does play into your map, so. So uh, the, I guess the final thing is this drop down thing here, this just changes uh, the palette of the map. Uh, you can play around with this, but there's uh, generally it's on three. I would suggest leaving it on there, but you can play around and see what you come up with. But again, that's just a little pal thing. It's not too important. But that's going to be it for the uh, map editor tutorial. Um, it's very simple, uh, straightforward. Again, 2.5 does not have great functionality when it comes to the icons on the map. Um, like, obviously you got the dots or whatever, but like the boss marker won't show up. Um, the boss, like the main boss, big red X thing, that won't show up. Or you can't change its location in this. I believe, again, that is something that can be done in RF. But I'm not 100% sure about that. But that's bas your basics for the map editor. Uh, there really isn't any more to get into. Um, hopefully this helps you out with your map. Maybe you were having some issues and hopefully this clears everything up with that. So thanks for watching and we will see you for the next tutorial. Mm -hmm.